Hi everybody. This is an update to a previous tutorial video. Easy family updates using Google Forms, Google Sheets, and Formula. Visit bit.ly family update form. It'll take you to a forced copy screen of a Google Form. Make a copy of it. Rename it. and leave everything else as is. Click Responses and create your response spreadsheet. Create. You can quickly format your header row. I like to wrap the text and bold it. Add three additional column headers. Student first name, parent email one, and parent email two. Add another tab. Name this new tab family emails. Use the following five headers. Student full name, student first name, student last name, parent email one, and parent email two. In the student full name column, input your students full names. Make sure to include yourself as the last name on your list. Take this list, copy it, Go back to your editable form and where it says student, in option one, paste your student list of names. It is essential that the list here is identical character by character to the list here. In cell B2, which is student first name, you're going to input a split formula. Equals split. It'll show up. Click on it. A2. And where are you going to split it? At the space, enter. What that does is it automatically splits this full name wherever the space is. Click on Donald, you'll see the little square right there. Drag that all the way down and all of your names will be split. Go ahead and input the emails for each student. For the sake of this tutorial, I'm going to use the same addresses for each student. Again you can format the header row if you like. Open up the live Google form and fill it out once for yourself. Today, Kim Polishuk shared an answer in math. Note it says start this description with a lowercase letter, which I did, and end it with a period, which I did. She took a risk and shared her thoughts with her class. Submit. Go back to your response spreadsheet and in form responses one, you will see that data. In student first name, we need to pull in the information from this second family emails tab into this sheet. So for that, we'll use a VLOOKUP equals VLOOKUP. So we say, whenever Kim Polishuk appears in C2, then we want you to pull information from all of these cells and I would go down to about I don't know 30 let's say I have 30 kids in my class and I press enter I come back in here and in front of the A I put a dollar sign the one a dollar sign and this I'm told is so that the formula stays consistent put a comma the first name which is what we're looking for is in B which is the second column so I put the number two and then I'm told I have to write the word false. I press enter and the name Kim comes in. I'll let you take a look at that formula once again very quickly. Equals VLOOKUP. Whenever that particular name ends up in C2, pull from the family emails tab from any of these cells from the second column false. Now I'm going to copy that, paste it right here. It's going to say not applicable. Change this back to C2. And now I want parent email one, which is in column four. I'm gonna copy this one and I'm gonna paste it. I'm gonna change it back again to C. It doesn't matter if it's lowercase or uppercase, but now parent email two is in column five. All my formulas are now in place. Now we're going to run an add-on called copy down. If you don't have it, go into get add-ons and search for it, copy down. All I have to do is turn it on. It recognizes all the formulas that I have in my form responses one sheet. They're right here. Select them all. 
every time I submit another response through my Google form, these formulas will automatically be copied down into those rows. Save. Close. To show you that this works, I will go ahead and submit another one. Yesterday, Kim Polishuk did something. Yay. Submit. There it is, and it pulled down all the necessary information for Kim Polishuk. And now we are ready for formula. Add-ons. Get add-ons. I want you to find the formula add-on and launch. When this screen appears, the first thing you need to do is select the sheet that will have all the data that will be emailed to parents. And in this case, that will be Form Responses 1. You can now choose to send your emails on a form trigger, which means each time you press submit on the form, the parents will get an email right away. Alternatively, you can send it on a timed trigger so that at a certain time every day, the emails will be sent. Personally, I like to not use a trigger so that I can send emails out when I need to. Next, you need one template. You can call it Family Updates, and you are going to send it for all rows. Save. Next. Now we're going to build the template for the emails that will be sent. In the To box, we want to identify the email addresses for the parents. So in this column are all of your merge tags. I'm going to first use Parent Email 1, separated by a comma, Parent Email 2. Put in a subject. I usually use an update for and then I scroll to find the merge tag that says student first name. To the family of student first name. Now you'll notice it comes in with a header of sorts. You'll have to delete that. Get rid of any extra spaces. Comma. When. Put a space. Student first name. Description of incident. Do not include a period. This is because in our form, in the description of the event, we ask them to start with a lowercase letter and end with a period. Because the start of the description will be in the middle of a sentence and the end of it will be at the end of a sentence. Additional information. And finish with, please feel free to contact me with any additional questions. Uh, I know I made a mistake there. I want to leave that for a minute. This is also a good line to use italics. So I might use a little bit of HTML coding, the little bit that I know. And if you want to learn a little bit more, if you click on this link right here, it will take you to a website that teaches you all about HTML coding. It's very helpful. I'll sign it and now I will preview it. Oh no, I made a typo. So I click on edit to go back. I correct the typo. I preview it again. It's all fixed. Now I'm going to preview again and send all. This shows me the number of emails Formula is going to attempt to send. It's two. The remaining daily send quota is 100. Now, this is because it's my personal domain. If I was in a G Suite for EDU domain, I believe there is either no limit or 1,000. So you're pretty safe there. It tells me the template name. This data is coming from the second row in the sheet. It shows you all of the information again. You can quickly scroll through to see the next one as well. To the family of Kim, yesterday Kim did something. You'll notice that I don't have a period here. So I see now that when I was filling out my form, I forgot to put a period at the end of my description of the event. So instead, what I'm going to do is click Cancel, go into my sheet, go into the cell where I forgot the period, add a period, go back to Add-ons, Formula, I can go right to preview and send all. It will take me right back to that screen. Mm, you know what? I changed my mind. I only want to send the update for this row. I don't want to send it for this row. So I'm going to trick the system. I canceled again. I'm going to come over here to the column that was created as soon as I initiated the formula add-on. This is the one I've decided, you know what? I don't want to send this anymore. I'm just going to type anything in here. I usually type not applicable. As long as there is text in that cell, Formule thinks it already sent that row. So now I go back, Formule, Preview and Send All. It shows I'm only sending it for one row. Here it is, and now I will send. It shows me the record that the email was sent at this time, who it was sent from, and who it was sent to. I'm now going to check my email. You can see I have a new email from the teacher, and when I open it up, here is my message. And that's it. 
That is how you can use Google Forms, Google Sheets, and the add-on Formula to send easy family updates. I hope you found it helpful.